today marks the theatrical release of the new supernatural horror movie, Imaginary by Blumhouse and Lionsgate. The premise entails a woman named Jessica who, upon returning to her childhood, home rediscovers her imaginary friend encased in a teddy bear named Chauncey, whom she had abandoned as a child many years ago. Jessica's stepdaughter, Alice, soon befriends the bear. Unbeknownst to her or her family that old imaginary friend was very real and is now none too happy, it starts out innocent enough with Alice and Chauncey playing together and checking off a list Chauncey had created for her. Only this list increasingly becomes darker as it goes on landing Alice traumatized and in therapy. Chauncey can no longer contain his rage. He begins to manifest himself in his true form. Ultimately, leading up to the disappearance of Alice and Jessica's face-off with her childhood friend gone evil, Chauncey seems to be possessed with an evil shadow entity. As opposed to a savage beast dwelling within like the child's teddy bear in 1984's Dolls movie, it is also rated PG-13 as is the strategy of Blumhouse to encourage family viewings leading to larger box office gains. This strategy is based on studies and was hugely successful with the previous motion pictures Megan and Five Nights at Freddy's. The theatrical trailer was well edited and makes for a pleasing preview that shows promise as a valid entry in the classic horror genre. Some say the premise is loosely based on similar short horror stories, such as the creeper pasta known as Mr. Widemouth. I highly encourage viewers to check the two trailers in the Mr. Widemouth creepy pasta video to get a nice taste of what this frightful flick has in store.